Um, I'm Hannah Cole, and I'm a painter. Um, I think I tend to operate on kind of a slower wavelength than people around me, and so I'm going to invite you right now to come with me and just slow down. Um, there's only two photos in this presentation. Everything past the first two images, this is the first photo. This is my studio. Um, this gives you kind of a sense of the scale of what I'm working on, and um, it's just where I am every day. Um, everything that I paint comes from my daily experience, and generally it um, tends to be things that we kind of walk by or would overlook. Um, it's all from observation. This is a setup just to kind of illustrate how I'm working from things I'm actually looking at. That's some tape on the wall of my studio, and then on the easel is a watercolor I'm working on of, um, of that tape. So in general, the scale that you see is one to one. If you see a person, it's person size, tape is tape size. So this is a painting, and everything from here on out is all painted, every bit and every canvas I make myself. Um, so I want you to ask yourself, just for a minute, when the last time was that you really looked. In the average American museum, a person looks at each art object for three seconds. That's it. So after you think about that, I just want to kind of zoom back out and say, why art? And then why do I do art? I think art is about humanity. Um, you can come to it with more education, you can come to it with more life experience, but you can never have a more human reaction. There's a lot of detail in my work. There's a crossword puzzle in the reflection. There's a self-portrait in the mirror. Um, so if I can do one thing as an artist, what I'd like to do is just look with such intensity and paint with such care and love that it in some small way might transform your experience. So if you go and look at a chain link fence in a different way after seeing one of my paintings, and I feel like I've been successful. So here's where I'm going to ask you to do one hard thing. This is a painting I made, and I'm going to ask you to look at it for one full minute. Um, think of that three seconds in the museum. That's more normal. Um, so this painting is of one of those privacy meshes um, over a chain link fence at a construction site in New York. This is like you just took a step closer. This is a detail. Um, so every, every little reflection is painted. Um, this took me six months to make, working full time every day. And um, you should probably know that when I was five years old, I was diagnosed with a borderline case of OCD. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, <laughs> So everything you see from here on, um, you can kind of see that there's a theme where of this really intense looking, but I'm also interested in what we don't look at, kind of what we fail to see. This is a pair of watercolors that I made when I was living in Italy, teaching painting there. Um, this is the view out of my window in Italy, and it's kind of the things I was missing about the US. It's called IPA NPR. Um, this is a painting on panel. I, I carve the panel myself. I, like I said, I make all my surfaces. Um, if you don't see the figure right away, that's intentional. That's my hope. But it's a person texting on their phone, kind of missing the sunset. Um, this is another painting on panel. So it's actually a whole bunch of panels. This is about 12 feet long. The figures are lar a little larger than, um, than scale. Um, so actually, you're looking, the only painted parts are in between the figures. The figures themselves are not there. Um, you're looking at the wall that the stuff is hung on. This is kind of a companion piece. That first one is called Dawn. This is called Dusk. Um, and it's just, you know, that last one was at people at a bus stop. This is people running errands in the evening, like walking their dog. So it's just a bunch of different little paintings. This is just a little modest painting um, of a piece of my bookshelf. This little guy lives in a museum now. I'm going slow on purpose. 
This is, um, this is one of the patterns on one of those like grates over the sewer. I don't even really know the purpose of them, but they're in every city. Every city has a different pattern. Some cities have multiple patterns. Jacksonville has awesome ones. Um, but it's just, notice one next time you're walking down the street. Um, this is called hieroglyph. It's, um, that spray paint is painted like with a paintbrush, not spray paint. Um, it's called hieroglyph because it's kind of that language that utility workers are using to speak to each other that we kind of don't understand. I actually had someone from Con Edison in my studio once and they recognized the writing. Um, this is, speaking of Con Ed, a Con Edison gigantic manhole cover. And um, it kind of reveals my interest in mindfulness. This one is called um, Mandala. This is kind of a mandala of another sort, except it's very tiny. This is a drawing. It's um, watercolor on cut paper. It's about like 10 inches. So when I moved to Asheville, I had been living in New York City for eight years. And in New York, I never bought another tube of green paint. It's kind of remarkable. So when, when I moved to Asheville, I started, I was so impressed by the color and the, the greenery that I've started painting weeds. This is called Virginia Creeper. Um, so a thought that I just want to leave you with as we get to the last slide is just, I think we tend to go through life um, feeling like life begins after our errands are done or the bus gets there or once we're on vacation. But I think I just want to kind of help, if I can do anything with my paintings, help people look a little bit closer at what's happening right now and just see the beauty in the weeds. Thank you.